Hello everybody, today I'm here with some more Disney Melee Mania, and today we're going to be showcasing pretty much all of uh, Sorcerer's R R Apprentice Mickey. There he is. Wow. So we've got a... We've got, let's see, some stuff to equip onto him. So I'm going to be showcasing his regular form and then the two costumes he's got. We're going to unlock the last costume here today. Um, I've also got all these. I might just stick with one of them though. I don't think they're all that interesting. You can kind of see all of them here anyways. Actually, I think I kind of like the sparkles a little bit more. And then, do we not have that one? I think that might be unlocked from leveling him up. Um, but I guess we don't have to equip those. But yeah, I played through all the Abracadabra event um, just so we could do this here today. So I just need to win one and then we'll get the final costume too. I'm banking on me winning one, but I don't know if that's true. Um, and I actually have a good amount of stuff I want to talk about in this video because I've been playing this game a lot, so I understand it a lot better now. Um, I think I prefer the Team Rumble over the, um, the Spotlight one just because it feels a little bit more fair. Um, they also just released an update somewhat recently, which fixed a lot of the things I had problems with originally. But I mean, there's still a lot of problems. Uh, also, I don't know what Mickey does like at all. I've been playing as Elsa like the whole time. But he's also sort of ranged like Elsa. He's got this like splash, which I don't know exactly what it does, but... Okay, I think that's just like a bigger attack. So you can see here with Bing Bong, one of his moves is that he uh, brings out candy, and the idea is that you're supposed to bring it out for like your teammates, um, so that you can heal your teammates in the middle of the battle. But before the most recent update, anybody could eat the candy that Bing Bong spawned, which was obviously a problem. I don't understand how that was allowed as long as it was. There's no way we're winning this one. Oh my gosh. Um, but I could eat the other team's candy, which is just like insane. Um, but now it only allows uh, teammates to eat each other's stuff. So uh, I'm just, I'm literally, I can't quit. I want to quit so bad. We're not going to win this one. Okay, so um, Mickey skills here. The other one is he spawns in the, um, the brooms, which is cool. We are losing so terribly. I've been having a lot of bad luck today. But if you have a bad team, it's just not fun. You just can't do anything. Oh, we have not killed a single one of their teammates once. And their Bing Bong has certainly been helpful with that, but my team also is just really bad. With Ralph as well, they used to have an insane move where they just did a ton of damage and they were invincible during that move. They have since uh, changed it so that they're not invincible. Um, but that move in particular on the spotlight one was just like, you just, are, you're done. If you, your team has a better Wreck-It Ralph, you're, you just lost. So I'm not even gonna move, we're about to lose any second here. Look at my Ralph right now. In this game, I have had fun with it. Sometimes. And the only reason I ever had fun with this game is because I had a team that was genuinely trying. Even if we lose, um, if my team was trying, I am going to have enjoyed playing. Uh, because it was fun, like, uh, competing against people with a decent team. Um, but almost, that almost never happens. It's always one-sided. There's always one team that is doing way better than the other team. And you know right out the gate if you're gonna win or not, most of the time. But the times that it's not like that are the most fun. Uh, but it just feels really terribly balanced because it's always just skewed one way or the other. But it's also dependent on the teammates actually no understanding how to play the game, I guess. 
which I mean it's not complicated by any means so I don't completely understand it and the spotlight one is really stupid because um, it's really just like whoever gets the spotlight first you're in control of it uh, which doesn't really make sense even if your team has more players on the spotlight than your team uh, it does not matter they just need to um, be the first ones on it which I think is really dumb um, there's a similar mode to this in the game Splatoon and they do it the way that I was describing where if you have more players on it then uh, you get to be in the control and I guess it's also in like Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare um, and then if you have the same amount of players it doesn't give you any points which would probably delay the uh, like this the amount of time you're playing the game I guess but and like how does it decide who gets it here like he got it even though I had all these broom characters on here like we got here at the same time I, I don't understand why it changed to red and not blue you know it just seemed like it just picked one I, I don't understand it ends up just making for a super frustrating experience in my opinion also what is my bing bong doing I keep getting terrible teammates and that's why we're not winning like the entire goal of the spotlight one is to stand on the spotlight and when I'm the only one near the spotlight when the spotlight shows up there's clearly a problem okay my, my bing bong teammate is there so hopefully he gets into the spotlight when it comes nope where did he go I don't know oh I was supposed to switch to the other costume I forgot well, I guess we're probably gonna be doing four of these then <sighs> we're not gonna win this one either I want to just I've also gotten very used to playing as Elsa so it is kind of weird having a different character but Mickey's skills aren't all that different from Elsa's actually. Um, Elsa has the one where she freezes teammate or the other team which is actually super helpful in all the modes. I really like that move. Um, and the one that Mickey has just does not compare in my opinion. And then the uh, she also spawns an, an extra teammate which Mickey is able to do three of them which with much less uh, health and I would imagine much less attack either. So let's switch to the other costume and I guess if I don't win this one I'm gonna have to stop the recording go and unlock the other one and then come back. I assumed I'd win one of these but I guess that was wishful thinking. So we've got the second costume here. I didn't like to see what it's called but um, it's like the white variant. I don't even know if it's based on anything or if they just made it up. And then the third costume is like a classic one where it's black and white or like gray and white, I guess. Um, which again, I don't think was a thing either. I think they just made that one up. But like, it's kind of like Steamboat Willie but with the Sorcerer's Apprentice outfit. But this one's kind of cool. It's a white, like, outfit. That move with Timon is super helpful with the spotlight, but unfortunately we're not doing the spotlight this one uh, this time around. So in this one, you get a point if you kill these uh, extra enemies. So it's always kind of useful to do that. Oh, I think that move that I have has knockback too, which is pretty good. I'm clearly gonna die here, unfortunately. I can try to do this one last time. Hopefully my teammates can pick it up, but probably not. Yeah, we're losing really bad right out the gate again. Uh, I think Wreck-It Ralph is like undoubtedly the best character in the game. Even after they changed his move from being invincible, he's still really overpowered. Like, look at that. We have gotten one kill, but my our Timon is about to die, and I'm about to die too. Oh, also you can aim your shots as well, you can see like that. 
which is helpful. Dang it. My Elsa is a lot more leveled up too, so she's a bit more powerful. I'm having a hard time even killing with Mickey. We're just getting destroyed. Do we only have two teammates? I feel like I have not seen... Nope, there's Moana. I haven't seen her though. Hey, we got a kill. Oh shoot, I'm gonna die. Oh, the boss. So the boss gives you 15 points if you kill it. And the thing is, uh, the other team can wail on it the entire time, and as long as you get the last hit, you get the 15 points. Which again, feels like they should probably give you 15 points based on how much damage you did to the boss. Um, but, of course, that would be too hard to do. We have been, we, or like, I, don't, I guess I wasn't there, but I'm pretty confident we did a lot less damage to it than the other team did, but we still got the 15 points. And we are now in the lead, so maybe we actually have a chance here. Okay, well, if Ralph would have came after me, I'd be dead right now. Oh shoot, maybe I can kill Elsa. Uh oh. That was a waste. I'm trying to stay away because I'm just going to die if I go after anybody. I could let my brooms go out there. Come on, kill Elsa. Dang it. They're all pretty close to dying here. Shoot. Oh my gosh, just kill them, please. Yes, we got one of them. I think it might have been Elsa. I missed. See, this is... I'm having fun right now, and it is because we're like actually putting up a fight here. I know the boss gave us an unfair 15 points, but <laughs> oh my, I'm about to die. I probably should, but I'm like I'm not healing. I don't understand why you heal sometimes and why you don't other times. We could generally win, but we're gonna run out of time. We just need to have more points than the other team, so we should probably just run away. <laughs> don't engage, please. We have 10 seconds. No, you're gonna you're gonna ruin it, man. Get out of there, please. No. Oh, we got a kill. Okay, yeah, we won. Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised we won. <laughs> See that I had a lot of fun with that one. It all just depends on putting up an actual fight, you know. All right, so we fully unlocked the rewards from an event. I didn't realize that was an achievement, and we got monochrome costume. So that is the Abercap. Abracadabra event completely finished. I also get to claim some chips for Mickey. Uh, not quite enough for level 3, but... Alright, so... Let's try out that one last costume and then we'll be done for today. I'm happy that I was able to win, a, win one. So here's the monochrome one, which I guess is the second one. And let's try this Abracadabra one. Um, I hope you appreciated me doing this full event. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it for any more. It honestly wasn't so bad. Like, it didn't take that much time out of my day uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks playing it. Uh, you just have to consistently play it if you want to get all the rewards. You can only get so many things per day. Um, so if you just miss out on a few days, you're not going to get all the rewards. Um, and the rewards aren't that great either. Like, obviously, you're just going to level up your characters by doing it. You get some chips for all the characters, not just Mickey. But then you also get the costumes for Mickey, which is pretty cool. But I thought that Timon's costumes were more interesting than Mickey's. Um, and I'm curious if they're just going to keep going through different characters. I would kind of assume so. Uh, and I know they're adding more characters as well. I don't know when that's going to be. I also have most of the characters unlocked at this point, so... I can really just showcase whoever I want now. Um, I think I'm only missing like Buzz and Eve maybe? I feel like I have everybody else. If not, I have almost all of them. Okay, so they're just standing here. Dang it. I thought maybe they were AFK. Well, I might die now. 
¿no? Let's use this if I can. Ralph is almost dead, but he could kill me easily. Oh, I almost got him. Uh-oh. That's really bad. Dang it, I missed. <laughs> See, how come she healed in that time and I didn't? Maybe I got hit at some point. I'm not sure. My brooms actually almost got her. If someone else is over there, they could might be able to get some points for that. I don't really like this trail. I kind of like the sparkle one. Alright. Also, you cannot have more than one of each character on your team. Um, which is probably a good idea, but you could never have like three Mickeys on your team, for example. It's always one. We got our first kill just now as well, which is kind of sad, but maybe we'll get the boss to come in again and overtake him. I don't feel like we're doing abominably bad. We're just not getting the kills right now. I have to say, I think I prefer Elsa to uh, Mickey, but I might also, might also have some Stockholm Syndrome considering I've exclusively been using Elsa for the past few weeks. Dude, that broom is going crazy. And I think Elsa's freeze move is better than Mickey's knockback move. But I guess they both kind of achieve the same thing. Because usually I would use it to keep people away out of the spotlights. But I guess the knockback would also push people out of the spotlight. Which I guess I should have tried to incorporate more when we were actually doing that mode. But uh, It's kind of hard. I'm bringing the brooms here. We're going to lose this one, <laughs> undoubtedly. I don't even think there's a boss on this level. Some of the levels just don't have certain aspects, which is weird, but... If you're working together with your teammates super well, um, you should be fine, especially if you're all trying your best. Even if you're a little bit lower level than the others, uh, if you all work together and use your skills appropriately, you're probably going to win. I think this Timon might have been just running around killing the bots, which can be a good strategy, but you also need to kill the enemies. See that, that R Ralph move is just super overpowered. Uh, combined with Moana's move where she just gives him a shield, uh, it's pretty, you know, there's not much she can do. Man, I can't, I can't even compete. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm clearly going to use this, lose this one, so I might as well just end it here. Um, I hope you appreciated me going through and getting everything for Mickey. Um, I'll probably, like I said, I want to showcase a couple more of the characters, at least like the Manticore and Bing Bong. Um, and if there's an event tied to that, then maybe I'll try it. I'm not sure, but let me...